mung beans. Day one. This is day one. This time I'm trying to sprout mung beans. We'll see how it goes. So the machine is on and set for winter temperature. Actually, I'm going to change it to spring fall. So the sprinkle lasts for approximately one minute every ten minutes. So six times in one hour or 144 times a day. put the lid back on and everything will be kept in the dark so I'll check on this every day change the water once a day and we'll see what happens hello again this is Christian for life force microscopy and it's been six days since I started the uh, sprouting machine and let's have a look to see what's going on Wow look at this This is really incredible. Six days. So I think everything is looking okay. I don't see any mold or fungus. And uh, they are ready to be harvested which I'll be doing in a couple minutes okay so this here is the container I think it has uh, approximately 1.5 liters of water this is the uh, level here and you have to change the water once every day if you don't as you can see the water gets pretty uh, murky so in order to avoid getting uh, mold and fungus uh, the water needs to be changed every day have a look at the uh, 
roots coming out of uh, the bottom of the machine and I don't see any fungus or mold which is very important because you don't want to be eating that stuff so you have to be really careful when you sprout seeds to check for any kind of mold and fungus which again I don't see any and now I'm going to harvest uh, by the way uh, these are mung beans so I'm just gonna pull them off the bottom and cut them with uh, scissors I'll be doing that in a few minutes so I just pulled the tray out of the machine and this is what I got I'm just checking for fungus or mold which is key you have to be very careful with that so they look pretty good fresh even though you can see leaves you don't see them green because uh, everything was kept in the dark so there is no photosynthesis which you need when plants are in sunlight so this is what you get by using maybe one quarter, uh, one quarter cup of seeds only one quarter so now I'm going to cut everything maybe from down here and I'll put everything in a container and back to the fridge for consumption this container here this is what I got out of one machine and this is a pretty uh, big container so this is one uh, sprouting machine and I also have another one which I'm going to check right now have a look at this exactly the same thing no mold or fungus which is very important like I said before so this is what I harvested out of one uh, machine which is in reality my second uh, sprouting machine have a look at this this is amazing all the root work down there no mold or fungus anywhere
and again I'll go in I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything from here approximately and I'll keep everything inside another container and this is going to the fridge and it'll keep for maybe seven days which is pretty good so these sprouting uh, machines are really worth having if you want to have your own sprouts organic sprouts at home make sure that you only get organic seeds for whatever uh, you want to sprout so you'll always get organic uh, and healthy stuff to eat so I'll give uh, these sprouting machines a thumb, thumbs up for sure a hundred percent and keep watching for other videos that I'm going to upload pretty soon not only about sprouting but also about hydroponics which I also do thanks for watching